Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nern. This is the lowdown for the new moon of March 6th, where we have the sun and the moon together in the last degrees of Aquarius. Also right there, bound up in this new moon, is Neptune, king of the sea. When I dropped in to find out what the star beings wanted shared for this new moon, I found myself seated in the desert. As I sat there waiting, a few tumbleweeds rolled by. Then out of the distance roared a motorbike with a skeleton riding on it. This being pulled up and asked me if I wanted to go for a ride for this new moon. There's only one answer, so of course I said yes and jumped on board. As I rode with this character, I totally relaxed into the fact that I wasn't in control. And instead of fighting it, I leaned back and enjoyed the landscape that was whizzing by as we moved through the desert. After a while, this being pulled over, took out a gun, went out into the landscape and harvested an animal and other vittles and made us a meal. As I sat and enjoyed this meal, I saw how everything we need is right around us, how everything we need is provided for us from the perspective of Aquarius, this perhaps dispassionate and less emotional energy. Brass tacks, we had what we need. Was it totally tasty and what we might have chosen? Doesn't matter. It was clear from the realm of Aquarius that life cooks up and dishes out nourishment and medicine, lessons and teachings. This new moon cycle, the emphasis is on the lessons and challenges that come down from our elder star brothers and sisters to evolve us. We may not like them or be comfortable with what is given, but we are encouraged to relax and do our best to enjoy the ride. Indeed, from my place of sitting in what appeared to be a barren desert and receiving this beautiful meal, breaking bread with this skeleton being, I felt gratitude for their guidance, for their ability to bring me what I needed to have for my sustenance, for my nourishment, for my growth. In other words, this moon cycle, try not to be too fussy about what you are given. Try not to whine and be critical about what lands on your plate. Instead, check out your immediate environment and see what resources might actually be right there to help you face the challenges. Some of this has to do with Neptune's involvement with this new moon. Neptune makes us so idealistic and dreamy. So I think this is why the star beings are asking us to be grateful and observant rather than being wrapped up in our own idealized notions. Let this new moon bring you what it brings and do your best to pull the nourishment from it. Don't see trash, see treasure. Be observant for what really is there instead of what you think you're seeing through the idealized notions of Neptune. Allow those feisty characters of Aquarius, those skeletons in the desert to sweep through and take you on a ride. You don't know where it's really going. You aren't really in control. But sometimes that's where the best art happens. Oh, thanks so much for watching. Bye.